Level 100, the pinnacle of power for a Pokemon. Very few Pokemon ever reach this level. This is a series of videos in which I push Pokemon's levels to the absolute limit by raising them to 100 in unconventional ways and environments. Because, more or less, I'm crazy. This is the Level 100 Gauntlet. I hope you enjoy. What's up, it's Absol, and today, for my second level 100 gauntlet for the 20th anniversary of Pokemon in the first gen games, I will be raising a glitch Pokemon to level 100. Now, I'm sure many of you are aware of the many glitch Pokemon in the first gen games, but there are lots that I haven't even heard of before, and you can actually go on Bulbapedia and read about how strangely they behave, because it's pretty interesting, and I never knew they even existed in the first place. But anyhow, I'm going to actually be using the textbook example of a glitch Pokemon that many of you probably encountered as a kid using the item duplication glitch, known as M. And I'm going to try and record actually every single moment of me trying to train this thing. So this is going to be a pain to edit, and it's probably going to be a very long video. So I apologize for that, but I hope you still enjoy it. I'll also be doing this on an actual Pokemon Blue cartridge instead of the 3DS Virtual Console because I don't want the existence of a glitch Pokemon in my games to interfere with me being able to transfer over to Sun and Moon through Pokemon Bank later on. I just don't want to run any risks. And that's about all I have to say for this intro, so let's get started. It's going to be a wild ride. The save battery in my blue version is currently dead, so I'm going to use this card I bought a few years ago called a Mega Memory to uh, back up and restore my old save file to it. Because I uh, actually backed it up right before the battery died very conveniently. And also this way, by keeping it on this Mega Memory card, no matter what I do to my save file, even though this glitch is mostly harmless, it won't be permanent. Alright, so now we have the save file. So I can turn this off and I can put this in the Game Boy Player and we can get started. Alright, to set things in motion, we're going to first have to talk to this old man and he's going to have to demonstrate how we catch a Pokemon. And we have to not be in a hurry too, we have to be, uh, that's a really important step as well. So this old man's encounter right here with the Weedle. Um, the place where he gets his Weedle from is from a dark, mysterious land. A dark, mysterious land where you can catch glitch Pokemon, and Pokemon at crazy levels, apparently. Because, uh, for some reason, in this game, the right side of islands, particularly Cinnabar Island is the most famous spot, uh, if you surf alongside of it, you encounter the Pokemon instead of the Pokemon that are supposed to appear there natively, Pokemon from the last wild encounter that you had. So, uh, whenever you talk to that old man and your last location is marked as that mysterious spot that he caught the Weedle from, all craziness ensues when you surf along the, the right side of an island. And you're about to see that. I'm sure most of you are very aware of this and used it to duplicate items as a kid. I was a big fan of messing around with this glitch a lot when I was little. So let's see if we can get an M. That's the one that I want to find. Uh, there's Missing No and it's like Brother M. And I think for this quest I want to focus mostly on trying to get M up to level 100. The Pokemon that you encounter here uh, are entirely based on what your name is. Uh, and every character in your name yields a different Pokemon. And I think pretty much no matter what your name is, unless it's one of the default names uh, that you select on the main screen like Red, uh, you'll encounter both M and Missing No. And the cool thing about M is, uh, depending on the number of characters in your name, you either encounter at level 0 or 80. If you have an odd number of letters you encounter at level 0, which I like a lot more, and which will be better for this challenge, if you can encounter at 80. Okay, we have the pause right here. And there's something with the Zapdos crying. Here is our pal M. Uh, if you notice, the encounter took a little bit longer than usual. It had a little black screen. That's because it's actually trying to take the time to, um... Uh, you know, it's actually trying to take the time to overwrite your Hall of Fame data. As weird as that sounds, it only saves over that, and it completely screws with it. And here is our pal M. Uh, I'm not going to nickname it, 
What is that weird conglomeration of squids and rocks? Oh my gosh. Um, for some reason, whenever you get into battle with this thing and you catch it, it still... the battle still goes on. Okay, we got away from it. I think if you catch it again, it becomes a ditto or something. But anyhow, we have this level 0 M with this lovely sprite that swaps between a blob and a human. This is, like, probably counted as slavery. I don't know. But it's level 0, as you can see. Uh, it's bird type, which isn't actually a type. And it needs 188 uh, experience points to go up to level 1. But it already possesses... Uh, Incline 777,136 experience points. Okay, so now we've caught M, and now let's try and train it to level 100. It was actually really important that I caught M with an extra spot in my party and had it not go to the PC, because if you catch one of these things and it's at level 0, uh, the game will hang up and freeze if you withdraw it from the PC because it doesn't like the existence of level 0 Pokemon. And level 0 Pokemon also have a very interesting behavior that I'm going to show you real quick. In fact, it's a, it's a behavior that defeats the entire purpose of this challenge, but I have a work way, or work workaround for it. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to defeat the entire purpose of this challenge right now. And look, there's a reverse Caterpie, and we're facing backwards too. That's what this thing does, it's weird. Look, it's a wild Pidgey! Beautiful. Okay, so M is actually incredibly weak at this point. Uh, it, ha it knows Water Gun twice, though, and Sky Attack, so that's something. But, uh, we're actually probably not able to defeat this Caterpie, so I'm going to swap out and just let it gain some piggyback experience points. And look at that Coyster. <laughs> oh, it, it reversed itself when it did that tackle. We did it! And... Level 100. Just like that. The gauntlet's over, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, now it's evolving. And it looks like Kangaskhan. It evolves into Kangaskhan, and if you actually evolve it, you get a normal Kangaskhan that knows two water guns and sky attack. But, this is boring. I want to make this a fun challenge. So let's soft reset the game and step it up a notch. Let's work around this instant level 100. Let's actually put some elbow grease into this. What we're going to have to do to circumvent this uh, weird experience things is use one of my many duplicated rare candies that I have from way back in the day and bring it up to level 1. Also, I'm not interested in training a Kangaskhan to level 100, so I'm going to be mashing that B button every single time it levels up. And I'm not going to keep rare candying it, that's also boring. But now, uh, it has a normal number of experience points, so the experience underflow glitch doesn't happen anymore. I don't think it's categorized in the category of Pokémon that also reach level 100 instantly when they uh, go to from 1 to 100 in this game. There actually is something on that, just look up the underflow glitch if you're interested in learning about that. But now, uh, we can train this Pokémon like it's any other normal Pokémon with some weird side effects. So, let's get on that grind and fight a bunch of backwards things while we're backwards ourselves. Sky attack. Look how strong it is. That's incredible. What a powerful move. What a powerful Pokemon. This is abysmal. I think I'm gonna need to level it up a lot more. <laughs> we just got, like, destroyed. That Pidgeot looks like it's wearing like a, a skull mask or something. It looks like the Grim Reaper. Okay, I'm gonna heal up, fly to the Indigo Plateau, and I'm gonna gain a few quick levels um, just by piggybacking. Poor Zubat. The Surf mutilated it. Uh, normally 100 experience points would... Oh, now it's like half strength rock, half squid. That's cool. Now it has Rhydon's Cry, that's interesting too. This thing needs a lot of her experience points to reach the next level. That kind of worries me. <laughs> Maybe the fact that it takes a lot of experience points is going to be a good sign. Um, I couldn't really find anything about its experience growth um, levels, 
but I recall, if I recall correctly, the fastest possible experience groups take the most experience at the low levels and the least at the high levels. And if that's the case, that would be fantastic. Alright, so now we're at level 2. Oh, now it's... Okay, yeah, I have to stop the evolution every single time. Level 4. Let's go. Alright, we've hit level 5 now. Oh, now it's part girl, part thing. This thing is kind of crazy. Uh, look at those stats. That's pretty awful. Attack night. It's got a good attack stat, but everything else is just terrible. Um, needs 472 experience for the next level. We got our work cut out for us. I'm thinking right now that two water guns and a sky attack aren't going to cut it. Oh, hey, look. It looks like a normal Pokemon now. Never mind. I recall it being able to learn some TMs. I can learn fly, because it is bird type. Let's go. <laughs> we'll be flying around in style. There we go. Now we're strong. Now we can defend ourselves. Go M. Hey! <laughs> okay, we can't learn it again. Darn. <laughs> it's like the uh, it's the opposing team in Pong right now. Two player. Oh, now it's one player. It had such a quick change of heart. It may have defeated us, but we have defeated its molecular structure. Interrupting this battle real quick just to show you how screwed up the uh, Hall of Fame data is. You won't believe this, it's incredible. So we have TM Trainer, TM Trainer L. Level 192. Type 1, Bird. Type 2, Normal. We have Zalk C5, Durs, TM Trainer, TM Trainer, who's uh, level 211 in Poison and looks like a Nidorino. We have nothing, Hall of Fame number 1. X. <laughs> yeah, it's actually level 152. Okay, now we have another surprise, K2. <laughs> level 203, Bird. And look at that, it's <laughs> our strongest one, Pidgey. Oh, and then there's Num. There's TM Trainer, TM Trainer, the Polyrath. Oh, of course, who could ever forget Fiskal? There's TM Trainer. There's Pokey. Blah. Oh, and here's G female W exclamation point. Uh, painted by Monet, and it goes straight into the uh, music for one of the routes in the game. This is art. Then we have M the polywag. PC Cloister, E Plant Durst. <laughs> then there's Quo. And we have successfully changed the music in the Pokemon Center with our Hall of Fame data. Incredible. Whoa, it looks normal now. How did this happen? Our glitched friend is just too weak right now. Okay, I'm gonna try level 10 this time. Maybe at level 10 it will learn how to defend itself. Okay, we leveled up and we're back in backwards land again. So I guess all is right with the world. Level 10. So this is our average level 10 Pokemon here, this Beedrill. And it actually does have a pretty good attack stat. Look at that. But everything else is pretty darn awful. Especially its defense. Seven defense is just 
horrid. Here we go, take down. Half fat man, half Snorlax. Let's go. That's incredible. We're gonna take him down. Goodbye, Sky Attack. You're a really cool move, but you're not most useful for training. There we go. We got a good move now. What's up with all these misses? That was some crazy chance stuff right there. To get three consecutive misses in a row like that. Look, it's lit! <laughs> it looks like a ghost party now, look at that. There we go, level 11. Putting in work. Yes. Attack 40? Nice. Our attack is growing very nicely. 13. Oh yeah. And it went up an assault, a single defense point. There we go. We're back to Pong. We've, we've come full circle. Level 15. Alright, so about two hours of work put us at about 9,734 experience points. And we need 1,114 to reach the next level, 16. So this is going to be a pretty crazy ride. And also I can't really turn off the game at any point because uh, the battery's dead. So I'm just going to kind of leave my GameCube running. And hopefully I'll be able to knock this out at some point this weekend. I'm just going to keep taking breaks and coming back to it. And the grind. Day two, just went to an anime con, got some awesome merch. And now I'm about to continue the grind from level 15. Yeah, I didn't touch the game at all again last night because I went over to a friend's house. But I have every intention of getting as far as I can tonight. So let's go. Okay, so I heal at the Pokemon Center. And I come back after leaving the game on overnight at the Pokemon Center. And suddenly, Pokemon are facing the right way again. This is a very mysterious glitch in a very mysterious game. Alright, so five minutes into the day, and we already got our first level of the day. And I didn't even have to heal once outside of the first initial heal. I'm starting to feel good about this challenge. What? I was talking to the camera. Okay. There we go, back to backwards. Oh, here's a trainer battle. Oh, everything's normal. I wonder if he'll transform a little bit whenever he sends out his next Pokemon. Or see. Let's see what happens. Oh, the name just transformed. Alright, now here's another trainer, and I think we're in backwards land right now, so let's see how a backwards trainer looks. There he is. Trainer battles are so good in terms of experience. And there he is, he had his chance, but now he's fragmented. Three, let's go. All right, it's been about an hour, and I've gotten nine levels today so far, and that's pretty great progress considering it took me two hours just to get 15 yesterday.
Never stop leveling. Oh, this will be interesting. I hope the game doesn't crash. If it does, I will actually rare candy it back up to 28. Let's see. I'm just gonna water gun it. <laughs> Look, it transformed into me. There we go, level 29 already. Into the 30s. Thirty-one. I really hope this isn't turning into a montage of me calling out numbers and pointing out funny shapes. Level 34. And at this point, uh, we've gained 19 levels today, which is not bad at all. It's been a little over two hours. Um, my camera battery is basically dying right now, so I need to go charge that and take a little break. But good progress. Great progress, actually. I hope it continues at a rate like this. I'm about to switch things up with the route that I train on. I think I'm actually going to train off the Safari Zone Pokemon. You might be asking how, but the answer is pretty simple if you've been watching this video. We marked the last recorded location of where we were as a safari zone. Then we surf alongside the shore of Cinnabar Island. And... As soon as we get an encounter. And we find the safari zone Pokemon here. We can train off of them. Thirty-five. That was fast. I like the Safari Zone training. That's a straight-up dinosaur. Look at it. It's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. With like a ghost or like a Brontosaurus or something behind it. Oh no, I surfed too low without look, paying attention. No, it looks like you're gonna have to pay 500 Poke Dollars to go back into the Safari Zone. Because we're not getting much experience from this thing, that's for sure. Oh look, we're back to a T-Rex again. With a slight variation on the thing behind it. 37. This T-Rex keeps mutating into things, and now it looks like a, a weird dog. This one I like. Checking Twitter with one hand, playing Pokemon with the other. 39. 40. And that's about how many minutes it's been since I started from uh, level 34. I think I'm about to call it a night, actually. I'm getting kind of sleepy. Uh, but I like the Safari Zone method. The encounters are kind of slow. Like, it's hard to find a Pokemon. But everything is worth pretty good experience. So that's what it's all about right now. About to check on how many uh, experience points to level 41 to make sure it's something reasonable still. And it is. It's actually growing really slowly. Like, 26, 27 to 41. I think that's pretty good. Um, and we're only at, like, what, 59,000 experience right now. Yeah, that's not bad. I think if, uh, things go, keep going this way, it should actually be a pretty fast, uh, route to the level 100 from here. But, I'm gonna call it a night for now. Get some sleep. I'll be back. Forty-one. Forty-three. Forty-four. Forty-five. Forty-six. 
Mmm, this is a level 109 Magnemite. <laughs> X Poopy! X Poopy! <laughs> level 206, the, the Psyduck. I don't know if that was intentional, if it was taken from anything. I don't know, but the most important part is that its name is X Poopy. Uh, Pokemon's Defurturve. We don't even know what that is, but it's a. Its first type is 99, and its a second type is 9. Uh, it says Ja, level 48 Kakuna. ZH, the level 95 Machoke. Uh, 3GG, H, uh, bird normal type. Planta, the level 213 Mewtwo. Yiff, we don't even know what level it is. Oh, there it is. Six. <laughs> Rockety. Poopy poopy poopy. The music just changed. This is like the route music to one of the routes in the game without like any backing or percussion. It's poopy poopy. I must have something named Poopy on this file, because there's no way the game would randomly generate something named Poopy. <laughs> TM8. This feels so heroic. It sounds so sad. Here's our hero. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. I almost didn't press that in time. Fifty. Halfway there. Attack 163. Defense 32. Speed 56. Special 41. Yeah, so those are pretty crazy for being around what the base stats should be for this Pokemon. It's kind of nutty. Fifty more levels to go. Oh, and by the way, 3,000 to 51. Not bad. Fifty-one. Fifty-two. Fifty-three. While I was playing Pokemon Shuffle on my phone. Fifty-four. Fifty-five. And somehow we've still managed to maintain our initial pace of 15 levels every two hours. And I think that's pretty cool. Hopefully we can keep that up or make it even faster. 56. Still surfing along here, fighting stuff from the Safari Zone. Got no reason to change yet. Uh, I think experience uh, to the next level is looking good still. 35.94, that's not bad. Let's keep going. In fact, to further put things into perspective, this is going to probably be faster than any other current existing experience group. Because... To level 57, the fastest possible experience group requires 7,274 to get to the next level. We need like half of that. So, I think we're good. I don't know if this counts or not. I don't know about the spot. It doesn't. Fifty seven. Fifty seven. No, not cool. Not cool. That may be a sign that it's time for me to try and move on and find a better route. Cause man, does it take a while to find an encounter there. 
No surf. Ah, the surfing just takes so long. I'm gonna be bold and try Victory Road. Let's go. 58. Yeah, I think I'm gonna train in Victory Road for a little while now. Seems to be a very good spot. Can use up a lot of those water guns too. On all the rock types. We grew to level poison. Looks like the Machoke is just like standing on two different platforms right now. He's being held up by the name. And he falls down. And we reach level 60. Let's go. We grew to level poison again. <laughs> what was that? Look at the, the what? Swagger doesn't even exist in this generation. Bro. 62. Holy crap. Is that old man Jenkins? I don't want to be a burden. Level 64. Thanks, old man Jenkins. 65. 66. 67. 68. That's 70. Nice. Alright, now that I'm level 70, I think I'm going to take on the Elite Four. Uh, I don't want to fight Lorelei with my uh, Link Cable Center Lady. I'm just going to fight Lorelei with my Pidgeot that I'm taking with me. And then skip to Bruno, and uh, I think Bruno is going to be where I'm going to get the most experience points and get the easiest uh, battle. All right, let's go. Bruno. Good start. Some meaty experience. Critical. I think I'm gonna stick with cave dwelling for the rest of these fights. Cause just, it's not worth it. I'm gonna lose so much money, and I'm gonna have to go through Lorelei like every time, because there's no way that even if I level 100 Pidgey can't one shot our Pokemon, there's no way I'm gonna be able to one shot it with the uh, M thing in Bob. First time in Cerulean Cave, it's kinda rough. Oh gosh, look at me. What happened? <laughs> I've changed so much. 75. Let's go, 25 to go. Okay, let's take a brief moment to compare. Uh, 5,000 to level 76 while this Coyster is at level 71. 8,000. This is nice. This is a good pace. I'm glad it has paid off because going from level 1 to level 2 needing like 400 experience was kind of ridiculous. Oh, and we're facing the right way again. This isn't going to last very long. Okay, yeah, we're back to backwards. So because I have to walk so far to get to Cerulean Cave every time I went there, I did the, the water thing again. 78. 79. We are blazing through these high levels. 82. <laughs> 
85. Eighty-six. Eighty-eight. Eighty-nine. Ninety. So we have ten levels left to go now. And we still only need like 5,000 experience, almost 6,000 experience to level up. And that's nothing in the grand scheme of things. 91. What's weird is that I think every single level so far has felt like it's required the same amount of effort. It hasn't felt like an uphill, very steep mountain to climb. It feels like I'm just going up a very gradual incline that's just staying like the same difficulty the whole time all the way across. So it feels a little tedious at times, but it's not like anything that's painful to go through or anything that got increasingly painful. If anything, in these upper levels, it's gotten easier. But still, it's just taken the same amount of time to get a level as it has before. And I'm perfectly all right with that. It means that I should be able to keep up with my pace about of about 15 levels every two hours. So I should be done within about a little over an hour. 92. 93. Have you ever felt awake and asleep at the same time? That's how I'm going to feel editing all this footage. 95. 96. 97. So close to being there. 98. And this battle is going to bring us to level 99. I'm going to start watching the experience a lot for this level because I plan on doing something kind of interesting when I get to 100. Okay, I just saved the game because I am one battle away from reaching level 100. And, um, I've been preventing this thing from evolving every single battle, you know? So, I'm going to, at first, prevent it from evolving one last time, just to see what the final experience count is, and see what level 100 glitch. But then I'm gonna soft reset the game, and go through one last battle again, uh, and see what it looks like as a level 100 Kangaskhan instead. And we did it! Level 100. Hmm. Very nice. That is photo worthy. Alright. So we have a level 100 glitch Pokemon now. Started all the way from zero. That is an impressive attack stat. Its defense is still pretty garbage though. Uh, but it took 345,420 experience points which is insanely fast, even by today's Pokemon standards. So it was a crazy, weird experience growth formula that I've never seen before, and I don't think even is supposed to exist. But yeah, that's a level 100 glitch Pokemon. Now let's look at a level 100 Kangaskhan that used to be a glitch Pokemon. These dots right here are about to take on the duty of a parent. Now. You can finally watch this evolution sequence. They really outdid themselves with the cutscene right there. But now, <laughs> level 100 Kangaskhan, the stats adjusted themselves, the experience points didn't, nor did the levels. So we have a majestic level 100 Kangaskhan. This shouldn't work, but somehow we're flying away on a Kangaskhan right now. Now I'm going to turn on battle animation, because I want to see Kangaskhan use Water Gun real quick. Actually, you might be able to learn that through TM anyway. I don't know if I've... I haven't looked that up. And now things are far too normal. Far, far too normal. Just a Kangaskhan. Nothing wrong with it. What? <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting this. I think it just readjusted the experience growth formula 
for the Kangaskhan itself. That was a freaking downgrade, man. I'm not gonna raise this up to level 100. This this wasn't the this wasn't included in the challenge. Uh, that's a lot more experience points than I bargained for, because this isn't a glitch Pokemon anymore. It's just a it's just a normal Kangaskhan. Nothing wrong with that. And that, my friends, is what it's like to train a glitch Pokemon to level 100. Thanks for sitting through all of this. Just be careful the next time you surf on the right side of an island. You never know what you might find. I'll see you next time.